wonderful God. We serve a church and a powerful God. He's the only God that can deliver us from all of our sins. And that can deliver us from our sins. I'm going to ask that you will go with me to the book of Romans. The book of Romans, see, 8 chapter. And uh, outside of the 24th verse, Romans 8 and 24, given unto to God who's ahead of my life, and amen, to those that are here today, to my own wife, amen, First Lady Melanie, amen, to all the missionaries, evangelists, to all the elders and ministers, certainly to you, the saints of God, to all those that are operating in ministry in some form or fashion, I want to thank God for you today. Amen. It was by Him alone that we made it this morning. You probably made it a choice that you come here. You say, it's my decision when I get up this morning. I think I'll go to Raymond and see what the Lord is doing there. I needed a touch today, so I needed to come somewhere where the Lord is moving by His Spirit. Where the Spirit is moving in an unprecedented way. People are speaking in tongues and the Spirit of God gives up us. People are praising God through their diversity. I needed to go somewhere. Amen. When God what he needs to do. Hallelujah. And the people are allowing God to move. And so you chose this place. But really it wasn't of your choice. It was the unction of the Holy Ghost that caused you to be here. Nothing is really by choice when coming to the worship of God. Whenever you come to a place of worship, there's always something in there for you. You just have to open up your heart, open up your mind, and spirit and listen to what God is saying to the church. God has something to say to you today. And it is in his word. The Bible said in Romans 8, 24, and we thank God for his word for the healing and the deliverance of his people. In Jesus' name, amen. For we have served, we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man sees, why do yet he hope for? But if he hope for that which he see not, then do we with patience waits for it. Likewise, the Spirit also heaven our infirmities. Yeah. For we know not what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. And he that searches our heart knoweth that what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God. To them that are called according to his purpose. For whom he did perform known, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. And he might be the firstborn among many brethren previously seated. God is a good God, and he's worthy to be praised. I want to leave my God for you today from the 28th verse. It's going to work out. The 28th verse doesn't really say that verbatim, but the inference here is that it'll work out. It says that, for we know that all things work together for the good of him that love the Lord and to them who are the call according to his purpose. Some time ago, I, many years ago, and some time, I called it some time ago because frequently I've been saying many years ago as if I was a person of, of age. <laughs> so as I get of age, I, I've decided to say, I, I've decided to change the way I speak. I heard a person, I know that a person has been in the 70s and 80s and, and they're saying that they're 70 years and 80 years young. I can now relate to them. I'm not that old, but I can relate to them. <laughs> that I, I figure that it's a mentality. If you change the way you think, if you change the way you communicate, even though you need maybe of age, you are experiencing a young mind and a healthy mind. But I found out, amen, that over the years, I've been in places, I've done a lot of things. And there have been places where they've been unpleasant. And I've been in situations where I did not like to be in, but they were unpleasant. 
unpleasant situation. If I had my way, I could have just, you know what, uh, uh, walk out of that situation, but it wasn't set up as such. I had to work my way through. But somehow I had to gain the confidence that it will work out. But I will submit to you when you're dealing with issues and you're going through certain things, you don't always see that it's going to work out. It's really a faith mentality where it says that, amen, in your mind, regardless of what I'm going through, I have to believe God that it's going to work out. The Bible said, in 24 verse, says, for we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man sees, why do he hope for? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? And the Bible here explains that we are saved by hope. But really we are saved by faith. It's not contradicting itself, neither am I saying anything different from the Bible. It's just that hope has come covenant to faith. It goes along with it. It accompanies faith. And so for the Bible says, and, and so it, and faith is really when you accept Christ in your life as your personal Savior. And the Bible said, then you become, amen, the Christ fights your life as personal Savior. You believe that God has raised him from the dead. The Bible says, thou shalt be saved for what a hard man believing unto righteousness. And, what, and, and, and so salvation comes at that point. But it's the hope that the writer is talking about here that helps keep you saved. Yeah. Because hope is really the expectation, uh -huh. amen, that you will make it to, to mortality to come to become immortal. Are you with me? Yeah. Because sometimes there, there are places and situations that we're dealing with and things that we're experiencing, amen, we must keep the hope or the expectation that we're going to make it to heaven so that we do not be derailed. This way, derailed. There are many people that have started off with Christian and they started off being saved. They started off with the Lord, but somewhere along the line, something has come into the area and the area of an interest, and they have met the Lord and backslidden. And, and so the hope that the writer is talking about here, we continue to hope that we don't be derailed, that we're not being derailed, or we're not backsliding, that we don't leave the Lord so we can make it to heaven. Here's the hope it says again. For, for we are saved by hope. It's our expectation that the Lord is going to do what he said he's going to do. He will. And it's our expectation that we make it to immortality to heaven. But yet, spiritually, we are immortal. For the Bible said we're, 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 in, we're spiritually we're in high places in the Lord. We sit heavenly, heavenly places with the Lord. And so what is the derailment? It's the things here on earth. That causes us to, amen, causes us to, to slack off and to leave the Lord. Well, the writer says, but if you have the hope, amen, it'll help your salvation because no matter what comes your way, the hope or the expectation that you're going to see the Lord and be with the Lord in heaven keeps you on that right road yes, towards heaven. Are you with me now? It keeps you heavenly bound. Yeah. Because, and then it goes down to the 25th verse, it says, but if we hope for that which we see not, then we will patiently, we will patiently wait on that which we can't see. But the problem is, amen, that we the Bible says that the problem is that we begin to look at things here on earth, and we begin to hope for those things here on earth, then we get disappointed because we don't receive those things that we want. Are you with me now? Like a new car, like a new house, or some of the things that you put in place of God, then the expectation of heaven di uh, diminishes or because your mind and your hope is focusing on something that you can receive here on earth. Now I understand. Now, what, the God said, I will that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prosper. God do want you to prosper. He does want you to prosper here on earth. But the prosperity can't be, amen, it cannot, amen, it cannot uh, uh, go over your spiritual prosperity. You cannot physical, material prosperity in the way of knowing and loving God, yes. in the way of serving and, and, and seeking God, because the, 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 after a while, that physical, miracle, material prosperity would override your sense of responsibility yes. to serve and to love God. And so that's where the hope is in. And so I wake up every morning, and then with the expectation that even when I go to work, I'm going to serve God to the fullest. I'm going to let everybody know that 
to it because David was experiencing something. Here yeah, I'm speaking of David. I'm moving to Psalms real quick. Then we'll go back to Romans. David was speaking of something, and David said, you know what? All the things in Psalm 27 and 13, 13 that I have experienced, he said, I would have fainted unless I would have believed in the goodness of the Lord in that land of living. He said, everything that I've gone through, I've experienced, I still, amen, trusted and believed God, even though I've made some mistakes, even though I have done everything right, I still trusted and believed that God is going to bring me out, that God is going to forgive me, that God is going to make a way for me to know way that God is going to do it. And no matter what, when I believe in the Lord, so I didn't take it. Even when I made mistakes, I didn't take it. I went back to the Lord. I got it right, but I believe. Yeah. And so I said, faith, amen, and hope, amen, are concomitant together. It's like a symphony. A symphony of sound. Otherwise, when the music doesn't come together, when you have your to a symphony, when the music didn't come together, amen, but, 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 but when the music came together, when the heart began to play, uh, when the heart began to play, and when the violin began to play, and when the horn began to blow, and when the drum just hit the stairs, hit it just right. Are you with me now? I mean, the sound began to sound like meaning. It wasn't just noise. That's how hope and faith is. They're together. When you believe, hope automatically comes. And then the Bible says, in Romans 10 and 17, for, for come, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. I know I'm, I'm moving quite fast today, but you'll be all right. And then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. The more of the word of God that you hear, the more the stronger you become, the more your hope is built, your expectation, and then begin to grow because you believe that God is, and he is the deliverer, and he is a healer.
begin to find itself in awe. That morning began to come and say, oh, we didn't have nothing matter who to tell. It didn't matter no it didn't matter what I say. Around anybody else, they don't have the ability to set me free. They don't have the ability to ease my nerves. They don't have the ability to calm me down. They don't have the ability to move the anxiety away. And all I can do is say, oh, Expressing in the rainbow. 
the inspired word of God says for it becomes inspiring if you can catch this for I'm a light affliction being that the Holy Ghost we have to see for us in the 26th chapter 26 verse of 8 Romans 8 it says for I'm a light affliction which is but for a moment for a moment for a moment working and so I see where they got that song that they said okay we the man do for the light that's scripture but joy cometh in the morning I understand how these scriptures the coincide. And people sing a little song to that. They say, but for our life affliction, but for a moment, when you put it against the relationship with Romans 26, it's only for a moment because, uh, you know, things don't last. So they used to sing the song, trouble don't last always. We can make it do for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And, and, and so here it says, for, but for a moment, working for us.
that all things work together for the good. It may not taste good. May not, may not feel good. Come on, sir. You may not want it to happen right now. But since you can't control it, know that there's a blessing on the way. Yeah. Know that there's something coming good out of this. Yes, sir. Go ahead and shout in your situation that something got it. Man, I been with so much, there got to be something good coming out of this. The devil is a lie. I'm going to praise the Lord.
Yeah. 